This has been an awesome week here in Nicaragua. We had a lot of good things happening. Um, kids came to class uh, three days a week this week, so that was really cool um, to see them a little bit more frequently and for them to uh, for them to um, have the chance to study a little more. I know they need to. I had to take a lot of the uh, video myself this week because Clarette could not come because she's grounded for her grades. Ah, these kids, man. Um, but it was uh, overall, it was a really good week. We had. Our fundraiser this week, the uh, students brought in a ton of money to help support Santa Isabel School that's right across the street from us. They are in need of um, some work done on their well because right now they don't have any water at the school. And so this next week coming up, we're going to have someone come and take a look at that and we're going to use the money that the students earned to, um, to help pay for that. We also have been advertising this week for, um, for registration of next year. So this coming up week, we should be having a lot of parents coming in and applying for their students um, to come and study with us next year, or for their children to study with us next year. And what else? And at the end of this video, I went on a little trip around Leon and, and uh, to show you guys what some of the costs are for things that you could potentially buy if you were to come here and visit. So please do that. Listen, um, we're hoping that flights will continue very soon and that you guys can uh, can come check it out here. Check out these glasses. I bought these these Ray-Bans right there, man. Heck yeah. Those things only cost like a, a few dollars. So, dude, you got to come and hang out with me here in Nicaragua. See you guys soon. Okay, we are at a 15-year-old's birthday party. We're not very far from the school at all. The school is about less than a half a mile away, but check out this view, this awesome view of the city of Leon. You can see the whole city from here. You can see some pretty cool, cool uh, shots of the uh, volcanoes in the background. It is absolutely gorgeous. Party should be starting in about 30 minutes, so it should be a good time. This has to be one of the best views in Leon. Que de aquí en adelante lave mis, mi corazón y me dé en mi corazón un anhelo de servirlo, trayendo a mi vida. Okay, it is Monday. We're starting a new week here on campus. Uh, we got a lot of good things happening. We got our students uh, dressing up in in their civilian clothes um, because if they do that, then they can pay a little bit and help with this fundraiser for this well project that we're doing at the uh, neighboring school. So uh, that's pretty good. Um, they, they, they all seem to be participating in that, a lot of them anyways. And uh, we also have students coming three days a week instead of just two. That'll be good for them academically. All right, many people think that Latin American culture is big on soccer, and that's probably true of most countries. However, here in Nicaragua, 
baseball is a much more popular sport, which is why when you give a group of students a soccer ball, they automatically turn it into a kickball game. But we are starting back our very first week of PE since coronavirus hit, so that's really exciting. Kids are, kids are pumped about it. Get them outside of the classroom, get them running around. All seem to be having a good time. It's like Veronica just uh, had a two base hit. I don't know, man, that kind of looked foul to me, but I don't know what their rules are. Backed up for that one. Yeah, this kid's going all the way. <laughs> Woo! Maybe not. Buen trabajo, Veronica. ¿Cuántos tiene? Seis. Seis. Yes. Cero. En serio. Let's see what Kevin does here. <laughs> jeans, tight jeans. Maybe kills these teams. <laughs> Alright, the score is currently zero. The team that's at bat has zero. The other team has ten. Uh, see if the underdogs can come back. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Let's get a comeback short. And yeah, one out. Two bases out of that. Ooh, might get three. Huh? Oh, this is gonna be a close one. Alright. I need to see a replay in that one. He goes safe. Alright, so they got a point. They got a point. Got a line drive. He's gonna stop there a second. <laughs> Everyone's moving up. You're underestimating her. I get a second point out of that. What are you talking about? Alright, let's see what this girl has to offer. I don't think she's that motivated to be honest, but we'll see. Yeah, she wants, she wants someone else to run for. Not a kid, babe. Oh, I don't think she's going to. Uh, I think they're calling that a foul. They're calling that a foul. Yeah, she's going to have to come back. No, I guess foul means, foul means out. The rules here. And I guess they only get two out, so. I don't know. They got their uh, Nika rules. Did not see a comeback there, unfortunately. But they did get two points. That's cool. I love some high school chemistry. Ah, 
Ah, eso es lo que hizo usted ayer, porque porque continúa. Sí, 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 sí. All right, check it out. We got Rebecca leading the class in a Bible study. I think they're doing. I think they're doing the Book of Daniel. Yep, definitely the Book of Daniel. Pastor Jose. Okay, next week we are starting a process of registration. I have with me a group of crazy kids. We're going to go door to door with us and talk to families about registering their kids to our school, our beautiful school next year. And these are the cream of the crop. It's going to be talking to the families about registration. So let's do this. What do you say? See? Bueno. Okay, so it is Thursday morning. It is exactly 7 o'clock. I just came inside of my house and I saw this bag sitting here and it is warm. Like there is something warm in here. I have not yet opened it, but I'm assuming somebody came and dropped off food here at the house. Rebecca must have brought it in. She is not in here at the moment. So we are going to open this up together and check it out for the first time. Ha ha ha. Set this down here. Okay. So, let's see what we got going on in here. Oh man. That looks pretty amazing. Man, that is one thing I love about this place. People just dropping by and bringing food. Heck yeah. Looks like there's another one for Rebecca over here. So, I don't know, again, I don't know who brought it. I don't know if it's for me or for someone else, but it's on my counter. So, I guess that means I'm about to chow down on some food. Heck yeah. All right, we are here at Santa Isabel School, right across the street from our school talking to these kids about registration for next year. Our classes begin in uh, in January, so they gotta get they gotta get registered soon. That's coming up next week. So he is telling these sixth graders all about it. I think they're outside at recess hanging out. I don't know. This looks fun. That's some complex looking stuff.
Check it out, we got Rebecca here teaching these kiddos a little Bible study here for Spanish. Don't tell her I said this, but I think it's a little better than mine. She's she's doing awesome. Let's check it out. So one question that I constantly get here in Nicaragua is, is how much do things cost? And, and when people come, they, they always want to know how much money they should bring. So I thought it'd be cool if I went around Leon and, uh, and went to a few different places and bought some things and kind of showed you guys what you can get um, for $10. So I'm going to try to spend less than $10 today. That is my goal. And I'm going to see uh, how much stuff I can get for that amount. So let's see what's up. Para esperar, sigo adelante, yo soy imparable, no miro atrás, es el momento para empezar. All right, check it out. Uh, first up here is at this little restaurant just across the street. It's one of my favorite places to go to. It's right down the road from where we live, and um, we can actually like walk here. Um, and they got pretty good food, so we're gonna have some some breakfast here. Um, on a quick note, um, the exchange rate right now is. 34 Cordovas equals one dollar. So we might have to do a little bit of math to make sure we're uh, we're working this challenge out the right way. So that means that I should not be spending more than 340 Cordovas um, today. So let's see how much I can get for that amount. Stay with me, and we'll go check out this restaurant. All right, so it's kind of like a buffet style, but the uh, the workers serve it to you. Mm, check that out. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Okay, so check out this breakfast here. We got some rice and beans, eggs, tortillas. We got some fried plantain, some uh, fried cheese, and a Coca-Cola, all for 75 Cordovas. That works out to being about $2.20 for that. So man, that is a pretty good deal. I'm about to smash this breakfast, and then we will go from there. Mm, that is a breakfast. I love these plantains are amazing. Rebecca hates their fried cheese. But I could eat it every single day. It's got a different taste than it does in the States, but man. Mmm. They're so good. Cheers. $2.20. Can't beat that. Another interesting thing about Nicaragua is they um they don't eat a lot of very spicy foods. This right here is kind of a typical sauce that you'll see on a lot of tables at the restaurants. I like it, it's pretty good. It, they say it's spicy. To me it's more of an, it's, it's an onion vinegary kind of taste to it. It's actually pretty, it's better than it sounds, but I wouldn't typically consider that spicy. It does have a kick to it, but, um, but it's not hot. It's not like spicy hot. So it's pretty good though, have to check it out. Okay, we are off to the next stop. I got about 265 Cordovas left, which is about uh, about eight dollars, give or take. So we're gonna go and see what we can get with that. All right, so this right here is basically the Nicaraguan version of Redbox. You get all sorts of bootleg videos for a dollar each. So I'm going to get Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two today because I have been craving seeing this movie again. Unlike Redbox, you don't have to turn these movies back in whenever you buy them. So that's pretty cool. So it's a dollar each for those, um, and they have all sorts of things. As you can see, they have like sunglasses, they got toys, watches, masks, anything you can think of. And this way they sell fruit, they sell lights, electronics, speakers, I mean just you name it, they got it here. Um, there's another bigger market down on the other side of town that I'm going to go check out here in a minute. But uh, I thought I'd stop by here because it's close to that restaurant that I just ate at and grab a movie. So one dollar, can't beat that. Went a little bit off script here. I got some uh, shoes. It's been a while since I bought some shoes. So I came down here to this uh, sketchy 
alleyway market here where they sell a bunch of shoes for cheap. I got these for 15 bucks. Can't beat that. Some new blue Nikes. So yeah, $15 for a new pair of shoes. Gotta love it. Okay, now I'm here on the other side of town. This part is known as the terminal market because there's a train station nearby. It is a lot busier. There is a ton of people here and a ton of stuff. Let's go walk around and see what we can find. Okay, I made it back to the house and um, I got all my stuff laid out in front of me. We're gonna count it up and see what we got and how much it all cost. And you guys can determine for yourself whether or not it was a good value. Um, but let's take a look and see what it is. Okay, as I was leaving the market today, um, I picked up some bananas. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve bananas. Those things, first of all, I know they look a little rough, but man, these things are fresh and ripe, not like the ones you get in the States. They, they pick them when they're green and they send them over um, so they don't go bad in transit. Man, these things, they just, they taste so much richer than, than bananas that you can buy in the States. And these, for 12 of them, those cost 20 Cordovas, which is less than a dollar. In fact, if you take the 20 Cordovas that we spent on these things, and match it with the, the 30 Cordovas that I spent on these. Combined, that is a dollar and 50 cents. Okay, as I was walking through the market, um, I stopped at a little store because Rebecca's and my anniversary are coming up, so I wanted to get her a bir uh, not birthday, what am I saying? Um, our anniversary was, is coming up. Actually, by the time this is published, it will probably be um, past our anniversary, but uh, I decided to get her a little bit of jewelry so I swung by and picked up some of this here. We got a little, nice little watch. Watched her put the battery in it so the battery is fresh and new. Um, and these earrings and this necklace. So we got that there. And then after I bought this, the lady um, threw in this because I told her it was we were celebrating an anniversary. Uh, she threw in this just as a, an extra little bonus item. So we got a um, pretty little necklace there with some uh, earrings. Rebecca loves pearls, so she'll like that. And the same person sold me these awesome knockoff Ray-Bans. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And got a pair for Rebecca too. Some Ray-Bans and some Max Energy AAA batteries. Two packs, two four packs of that. So all this stuff you see here, was $15 for all that. Um, and then, as you guys already saw, I bought these shoes here, also for $15. Um, plus, like I said, I uh, went, out to, went out for breakfast this morning, and that was $2. That puts us at about, um, about $33.50 for a full breakfast that included a drink, a movie, some bananas, anniversary present, sunglasses, shoes, and some batteries. So, to me, it's not that bad of a deal. I am glad I went out today. Had a pretty good time doing it, just riding around, getting to see the city and everything. So come to Nicaragua soon. Check this place out, man. You can get all sorts of really good deals if you know where to look, and uh, and we'll hang out together, and we'll, uh, we'll do it all together. All right, cool. Dude, I don't know if the camera picks this up very well or not, but like, this is not a white banana. This is a yellow banana, and it is just so much better, man. These things are, hold on, let me just, let me just show you guys how much better these bananas are than the ones in the States. I'll, I'll show you right now. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm, they're a lot better.